Today, humans do things like sampling. They take all the reports, maybe there's 10,000 pages, they take maybe 10% and they review them. That means that 90% didn't get looked at. Computers are good at doing boring, very tedious tasks. And this is an example of where we use artificial intelligence to help the auditors to find the key information. What it is augmented intelligence? So augmented intelligence is about helping humans be better at their job rather than replacing humans. In a self-driving car, the idea is to delete the driver and just have passengers. That's not augmented intelligence. What we're talking about in augmented intelligence is kind of like Excel spreadsheets. They make accountants better at being accountants. They don't erase accountants, they just make people more efficient. And that's what augmented artificial intelligence is really about. Taking the part that's easy to automate and automating it and leaving a human in the driver's seat but being the best driver possible. So I think one example of augmented intelligence is the company that you're working on, how did map.ai. So how does it help people doing their job? So the people that we're helping are auditors, specifically looking at internal audit uh, document review, um, not the double entry accounting number side, the text side, um, in many different languages. And what we're doing is realizing if you can detect a loss in the books, in the money, you already lost. What you want to do is avoid that loss. And that's currently a very human based process. So the way it works is today, humans do things like sampling. They take all the reports, maybe there's 10,000 pages. They take maybe 10% and they review them. That means that 90% didn't get looked at. That's not full coverage and that's bad. Computers are good at doing boring, very tedious tasks. And this is an example of where we use artificial intelligence to help the auditors to find the key information, the risk statements, the control statements, how they match up to each other so that they can do their existing process better and faster. So you can't see, for example, in those 10,000 pages, what areas of the company are not discussed. With AuditMap, you can because it puts things in context of the organization. Internal audit is prone to errors and computers are less likely to get tired and make a mistake. They can correlate distant information on page one and page 4,000. The computer doesn't have a trouble making that relationship. The people that read documents in order do have a lot of trouble. They get tired, the results start to slow down and make mistakes. So before we go anywhere, let's talk about this auditing process. So why companies audit documents and what type of companies audit the documents and how big of a problem is this? So it's actually a really big problem. Billions and billions of dollars kind of big problem. Imagine a large organization, whether it's an aircraft company or a drug company, and reports are prepared by departments, handed to department heads, then handed upstream, upstream towards the CFO or towards the CEO. Uh, the internal audit function is to go through all these reports and find problems. Unfortunately, in a large organization, 10,000, 100,000 employees, you can't effectively read those reports, especially across years. So let's say you have a five-year period. To read them all and understand them all through time is very hard. So this is what we're talking about, using AI automation to make that process effective. What happens if the company is not able to meet the audit, what do they pay for if they fail in the audit? So there are a few consequences. One is just losses. So they may miss that they're going to experience a loss and that's they lose money. Another is a fine. They may get fined if they're in a highly regulated area and they break a rule that they knew about but they didn't fix. And another consequence is just inefficiency. They lose competitiveness if they can't quickly discover what are the risks, what are the controls controlling it, maybe they have redundant controls and that costs money. The burden of extra controls that are not actually controlling or for a risk is you lose money. Basically for our audience, this is a task that it can seem tedious, but it requires a lot of human thinking because uh, you had to make sense of information that is distributed in very long documents. And at the same time, it's very difficult for human beings to execute on this task because the amount of documents is very large and so they cannot really read all that amount of material.